Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling around the Lone Star State looking for great restaurants you won't want to miss. Get ready for a New York-style deli serving up giant sandwiches. It's got turkey, turkey pastrami, tongue, pastrami, uh, corned beef. That's a bite. Plus, we go inside an over-the-top chicken and waffles joint. This is what you're known for. This is how it all got yeah, started, that's right? That's our uh, buttermilk fried chicken and waffle, uh, fresh-made waffle, uh, chicken breast, uh, buttermilk brine for over 24 hours with our special sauce, which is uh, thunder sauce. It's a mix of spicy mayo and ancho chili honey butter. And we check out a Midtown Hot Pizza joint cranking out artisan pies topped with hot honey. It's just a bottle that says hot honey. Yeah. I'm all about that. That sounds delicious. <laughs> all that and more right now on Texas Eats. On today's foodie adventure is at a New York style deli serving up gigantic sandwiches. Now we're here in the Galleria area in Houston to go inside of a delicatessen and restaurant that is serving up some delicious bites. Let's go inside Kenny and Ziggy's. now is Ziggy Gruber. He is the owner out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us. David, thank you very much for coming out and visiting us. This food is over the top. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I mean, this is the only way to describe well, it. You know, Look at this. At Kenny and Ziggy's, if anyone left here hungry, I wouldn't sleep at night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did all of this get started? My grandfather had the first delicatessen on Broadway in the early 1900s. And from there, they had about seven restaurants. And I'm third generation. Somehow I came here and I loved it and I've been here ever since. I love it. I want to talk about the matzo ball soup in the front first. What's right. going on with that? How do you prepare that? Okay, so the matzo ball soup, we use a special matzo meal and we add some schmaltz to it and garlic and seasonings and we roll the matzo meal and everything into a ball and we poach it in this beautiful golden broth. We make our matzo balls from scratch. There we go. That's the matzo ball. That's the bite. Wow, the matzo ball soup, so good, it's delicious. The matzo ball itself is tender, it just melts in your mouth. It has all those savory notes in there as well. You have all the veggies, the noodles, the chicken, that's high quality top cuts from the chicken as well. This is definitely the soup you have to try. This one, is like the biggest sandwich possibly I've ever seen in my okay, life. Okay, so that's our, that's our signature sandwich. It's called the Zeligabetsky. It's a homage to my grandfather because he used to tell me Yiddish folk tales, and it always used to start off with Zeligabetsky's <laughs> time. There's about four pounds of meat on that sandwich. Oh my and gosh. And as you can see, it's got turkey, turkey pastrami, tongue, pastrami, uh, corned beef. It's got roast beef. It's got red pepper on there. It's got Russian dressing and coleslaw on all on very thinly sliced rye bread. And right. we have a challenge. If you eat this whole thing, you will get a free piece of cheesecake. <laughs> So just what you want after eating all of this, no, right? Well, yeah, call it a six sense of humor or whatever. The Zella Gabetsky. Right. Cheers, Cheers to you. Cheers. That's a bite. This is delicious. Yeah. This is really good. You, you know what? I probably could finish this whole thing. You probably would. <laughs> The Zeligabetsky sandwich, if you could finish this thing, good on you. It is incredible, the size of this sandwich. I've never seen anything like it. If you do finish it, you win a free slice of cheesecake. Don't know if you need the cheesecake, maybe you'll take it home, but it's definitely, it's delicious, it's loaded with flavor, and it's fun to try. So I want you to try the pastrami. You know, we make this here ourselves, and we're famous for it, and we sell this all over the country. Okay. Cheers to you. Boom. There we go. All That's right. That's the bite. Oh, my goodness. Give me some more love on that one. Woo! The pastrami is made in-house. It's on that rye bread as well for that sandwich. You take the bite. You don't need sauce. You don't need anything else added to it. The pastrami has so much flavor. And you get all that fat, that little bit of oil that comes out of the meat. You have that smokiness that's in there as well. You have all that bark, the seasoning that's on there. It just melts in your mouth. Once again, the bread, the meat, they know what they're doing out here. This stack right here 
It's a huge stack, and it got a lot going on. Talk to me about this. Okay, so everyone does chicken and waffles, and I said, okay, so let's do something for the young kids. Let's come up with something. So let's do our chicken schnitzel with bacon, on waffles, with onion strings. All right, cheers. Okay, this is the ahead. chicken schnitzel, bacon, and waffle. That's the bite. Mm. Mm. Very good. Give me some elbow on that one. Oh my gosh. The chicken schnitzel tower is their play on chicken and waffles. It is delicious. You got the bacon in there, comes with syrup on the side. This is the way you got to do it. You got to go in, take the waffle off each at a time, and make sure you got the bacon on there, you got the chicken. Just eat that like a little sandwich all by itself. It is incredible. You know, besides the delicatessen, we are the largest purveyors of smoked fish oh, outside wow. of New York. And we hand cut from head to toe European style, the fish. When you taste our Nova, that's the difference. It's the way we cut it. Take one of our bagels. Let's smear some cream cheese on there. All right, cream cheese. Okay. There so we go. Given, okay, right. so grab that, put that on there. If you want, put a little tomato, cucumber, whatever you want. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's dress it up a little bit. Dress right. it up a little bit. Tomato. A little onion. A little onion. Okay. A little cucumber. cucumber. Okay, cheers. Okay. Yes. That's the bite. There we go. Wow, it just melts in your mouth. That is incredible. All right, when you come out here, you have to save room for dessert. You have a slice of cheesecake right here. Look at the size of this thing. Come on. We have a full bakery. We bake everything here on premise. We bake for about 70 other restaurants in town here. You guys, this is uh, it. Uh, Kenny and Ziggy's, a great restaurant here in Houston that you have to come visit. This is the place to come to to get all of your deli needs, wants, and your desires. And the cheesecake. Thank you. Get out of here. This is incredible. Is that the best cheesecake? Oh my goodness. Now, we're cruising to Midtown to go inside of a hot pizza joint, cranking out artisan pies topped with hot honey. Let's go inside the Gypsy Poet. Joining us now is Vanessa Fernandez. She is the owner and chef out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. And there is so many different pizzas on the menu that you could choose from, but we have like the top ones, right? The most yeah. popular items, plus a dessert pizza that you gotta check out. Glasses of wine, but how did this all get started? I started with my husband. When we got married, we started traveling around the world for three years as backpackers. We were in Italy at that time, eating pizza, and it was destiny. I started studying for become a professional baker. Then the rest is history. We're here. <laughs> and how long has the restaurant been open? It's been open for two and a half years, almost three oh, wow. years. I want to start with this pizza on the menu. This one, you said, is one of your most popular pizzas. And it's a pepperoni pizza, but it's not your typical pepperoni pizza, right? No. We made the dough every day. We put it on the fridge for 48 to 72 hours. Then we pre-cook the pepperonis to take the grease out and make the pepperonis crispier. And then we bake it again in the oven. And then we put hot honey on top. And that's what you got right here. It's just a bottle that says hot honey. Yeah. I'm all about that. That sounds delicious. To add right here some Parmesan. I'm going to put some basil on there. Cheers. The pepperoni pizza. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. This pepperoni pizza is delicious. It is so good. Extra char on the pepperonis. Nice and gooey and cheesy as well. All that dough that's made here in-house is so crunchy on the bottom, but tender on the inside. The sauce they're making in-house as well. You put a little bit of Parmesan, a little bit of basil, all that hot honey and crushed red peppers. It is a fantastic bite. Give me some love. Does this just surprise you every time you take a bite? Mm -hmm. How fantastic it is. I love the hot honey on there. <laughs> I'm going to put hot honey on all my pizza now. <laughs> and what, what is on this pizza? Pizza is a margarita base. Then we add uh, prosciutto di parma, arugula, and truffle oil. I'm going to dive right in here. The arugula on top, prosciutto, and a little bit of that truffle oil on there as well. Cheers. Cheers. That's the bite. The Fancy Backpacker has a great name. It's an homage to all the traveling that they did when they first got married, and it is delicious. Prosciutto, arugula, has a little bit of pepperiness that you want, truffle oil on there as well. You add basil, crushed red peppers, and a little bit of shaved Parmesan. It is fantastic. Hold on, one. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, these pizzas are incredible. You put some hot honey on there, it's gonna make it even better. <laughs> I'm convinced now, I'm sold. And the dessert pizza, we will leave for last. Yes. But I wanna jump to this one right here. This is a, a secret menu, right? Yeah, this is a secret menu, so I can describe what is on the pizza. <laughs> it's that secret. It's secret. Oh, okay, yeah. it's that secret. Well, yeah. can you tell me some things? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's a capalone base. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a slice. Cheers. That's the secret menu item pizza. Vanessa just learned how to make pizzas three years ago. And she's already making one of the best places to get pizza in the state of Texas. Yelp ranked them number two on the best new restaurants you have to try for 2021. That is incredible. So if you're in the Houston area, you're around Midtown, you have to come out here. These things are absolutely incredible. I mean, every single one of them, even down to the dessert pizzas, you have to try. Plus, wine, beer, live music, you can't beat it. You've got to save room for dessert. I see Nutella. I'm already sold, but what goes on to the dessert pizza? For the dessert pizza, we add uh, ricotta with honey, and we add the Nutella and the sugar confezione. Confection of sugar on the outside, it makes it look so pretty and delicate, but then the Nutella is just like, yeah! It's like, it's like somebody <laughs> got crazy with the Nutella. I'm excited to go in on this one here. I'm gonna grab a slice. You grab a slice with me. Vanessa, thank you so much for having us out here. Of course. The Gypsy Pellet. This is such a fun place here in Houston. Cheers. I mean, you can't go wrong. You can get beer. You can get a little bit of wine. Listen to some live music. Bring the kids out here. Bring the family. Enjoy yourself. All the pizzas are rocking. You're going to want the hot honey. It's going gonna, it's gonna to sell everything on there, but i got to take a bite. You all are wrong for that one. Did you get on? <laughs> oh my goodness. The ricotta, the Nutella, the powdered sugar, the confectioner sugar, and the dough together. That's probably the best dessert pizza you're gonna have. Hands down. This is incredible. Thank you so much. Give me some love. Thank you. Excellent. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we go inside an over-the-top chicken and waffles joint. This is what you're known for. This is how it all yeah, got started, that's right? That's our uh, buttermilk fried chicken and waffle, uh, fresh-made waffle, uh, chicken breast, uh, buttermilk brine for over 24 hours with our special sauce, which is a uh, thunder sauce. It's a mix of spicy mayo and ancho chili honey butter. And next on the show, we check out a top-rated Texas barbecue joint. You eat that whole thing. Yeah. You better be yeah, taking, a, taking nap a nap. And, yeah, it's nappy time. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Houston to go inside of a barbecue joint that was just named as one of the top 10 best barbecue joints in the state of Texas. Let's go inside Truth Barbecue. Joining me now is Leonard Patella. He is the owner and pit master out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us, man. Thank you. Right in front of us, you have a tray of all the select cuts that you want when you come out here. How did all of this get started? I went to go eat barbecue in Austin 2013 or so when barbecue started basically gold rush back then. And everybody was waiting in line and I just got like fascinated. I tried it for the first time and I was like, wow, this is, this is not what I grew up eating. I just got obsessed with it and like, even the barbecue we cook today is not the same barbecue we cooked six years ago. And I'll be honest with you, the barbecue that you're gonna have today is probably not gonna be this barbecue that you're gonna have three years from now here, <laughs> yeah. just because we wanna make it better however we can. We gotta start with the king of Texas barbecue. That's yeah. the brisket. Yeah. I love this because you can do the brisket test yeah, on yeah. it. Check that out. I mean, it's just laying right over the finger, holding up on its own weight. You give it a little tug, look at that, it just falls right yeah. apart. Nice bark on the outside, solid smoke ring on there as well. Cheers to you the brisket out here that you've got to try. <laughs> you know when you take this bite that this brisket is true to Texas. It's true to the classic origins of Texas barbecue. That bark on the outside, the seasoning is just enough to give it that extra little flavor. That smoke ring, that's how you know that they're handling the meat with care when it's in the smoker and then on the inside. I mean, it just falls apart. It's super oily, it's so decadent, and then it just melts in your mouth. I mean, if you're looking for some of the best brisket in Texas, this is where you need to go. I haven't had that in a while. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> I want to 
jump to these sausage links. So this is my favorite. This is the pepper jack. We're looking for something like with a chorizo flavor. Mm -hmm. I wanted to create like a chorizo sausage and it came out tasting like a uh, uh, chili cheese dog. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh my God. The chorizo sausage is phenomenal. It's the best barbecue sausage link that I've had. And that chorizo flavor on the inside mixed with the cheese, the elements are so good and they work so well together. A little bit spicy, bold on the inside, creamy, and then it just smells like it has that memory that it's pulling from my childhood, that nostalgic feeling of chorizo and eggs in the morning. It is so good. You put a pickle with it, it's gonna blow your mind. Why chorizo? Why, why pick that flavor? Well, my, my father's side of the family, uh, they're Hispanic and I grew up eating so much like Tex-Mex and Mexican food and like I love I love Teresa like in the morning like no, nothing it like smells better in the morning than oh, yeah. like when you're when somebody's making chorizo, chorizo and eggs like oh yeah what about the other sausage like? that one's the jalapeno cheddar so jalapeno that one's gonna cheddar. be a little bit more mild but kind of like your traditional central Texas style link the jalapeno cheese sausage link a little bit of pickles on the side here's the bite give me some foot on that one bro that one's woo. Nice and creamy. Mm. Man, I'm in love. Yeah. I get it. It is the truth. This is the truth out here. So this yep. is my this is my favorite side. This is tater tot casserole. I gotta get a little bit of this here. Get some with me here. Oh. It's a little heavy, but <laughs> that is dangerous. <laughs> you eat that whole thing. Yeah. You better be yeah, taking, taking a, nap. a nap. Yeah, it's nappy time. I don't know. What how about this one in the front? What's that? Cream spinach. I always love like good traditional like steakhouse cream spinach. Oh yeah. The tater tot casserole is so good. It's creamy, it has those bacon chunks in there. You got the cheese on there as well. You have a really nice texture. And then you take that bite, mix it again, maybe get some brisket in there as well. Phenomenal bite. Now, if you want to feel like you're gonna do something healthy, you get the cream spinach, and you know, maybe it's not that healthy, but you're eating your greens, and you got some shaved Parmesan cheese on the top, and all that cream on the inside, it is a great bite. These ribs are calling our name right now. So I'm gonna grab are, the middle one. You grab that one right there. And the talk ribs to me are these. the ribs are fantastic. If you love pork ribs, you have to try these. They're so good. Grab some of this right with me right here. The pulled pork Truth Barbecue is where it's at. If you're looking for somewhere that has all the quintessential Central Texas barbecue elements, you can come here and get it. Good on you, brother. Thank you so much for having us out here. Thanks for coming out. That's the pulled pork. I gotta finish that with the beer. Whoa, hey yo. <laughs> Cheers to you, Ren. Thanks for Thank you out, so buddy. much. Texas Eats, we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in the Montrose area in Houston to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up hot chicken sandwiches, burgers, desserts, all on fresh homemade waffles. Let's go inside the waffle bus. Joining me now is the owner out here at the Waffle Bus, Fee Wen. Thank you so much for having us, man. Yeah, thanks for coming by. All of this stuff in front of us looks insane. It's like super sweet. You got the savory, you got spicy, plus the drinks. How did all of this get started? Well, you know, um, I had a dream of owning a restaurant or something, so I started a food truck. Nine years of hard work, and then you got into a restaurant. <laughs> That's incredible. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to offer something that Houston didn't have. This one right here, this is what you're known for. This is how it all yeah, got started, that started right? That's our buttermilk fried chicken and waffle, a uh, fresh made waffle. Waffle, uh, chicken breast, uh, buttermilk brine for over 24 hours with our special sauce, which is a uh, thunder sauce. It's a mix of spicy mayo and ancho chili honey butter. Ooh, super tender. Look at that cross section right there. That <laughs> looks fantastic. Cheers to cheers, you. Cheers. All right, that's the chicken and waffle sandwich. Here's a bite. <laughs> Bro, that's, that's it right there. Messy, it's delicious. <laughs> Give me some love. Oh my God. The OG chicken and waffle sandwich is so good. Great flavor on there. You have that crunch on the outside of the waffle, nice and tender on the inside. The chicken, I mean, brine, so much flavor on the inside of that as well. You have that sauce that they're making in-house. All that put together makes for an incredible bite. I want to jump on over now, because this one right here, a chicken sandwich, you got mac and cheese on the inside. What's this one called and what's in it's it? It's called the Mac Daddy. Um, it's our uh, hot chicken sandwich with white cheddar mac and cheese on it. It's the same delicious chicken that you made in this one. Yes. But now you're loading it up with the, the cheddar cheese or the white mac and cheese on there. And we dip it into our special hot spice mixture. Look at this thing, just juicy, full of flavor. 
mac and cheesy on there, the mac daddy, that's the bite. Oh, man. <laughs> Bro, that is delicious. Wow. Yeah. The mac and cheese seals the deal. The mac daddy is the daddy of all the sandwiches out here. This thing is loaded up with flavor. You got all the mac and cheese on the inside. Big flavor on that. I mean, great by itself. You put that on top of the chicken with that toasted bread. This is definitely the sandwich that you need to try. Chicken sandwiches on the menu. And you also have like big burgers on here as well. Yeah, we have, uh, this is our hottie melt. The hot chicken trend is in, so we had to make a hot burger. So it was on a special <laughs> habanero spice on top of a smashed burger patty with grilled onions and jalapenos. Look at this thing, the hottie melt. This is the bite, man. I'm excited for this one. Here we go. What? <laughs> I love this bite. Oh my goodness. Mm. This burger's one of a kind. <laughs> Woo! The hottie melt is one of the best burger melts I've had in a long time. That seasoning on the meat itself, super spicy. You got the jalapenos on there, that toasted bread, the sauce loaded up on there, the cheese. Now this was a double. I highly recommend getting a double because it is really good. And you have to save room for dessert. You have sweet sandwiches on the menu yeah. as well. What's going on with this one? So this one, our original sweet sandwiches. Uh, we make uh, in-house uh, Irish cream creme brulee, but we put sugar on it and torch it. So, you know, <laughs> you get that fresh brulee, fresh strawberries, and top it off with powdered sugar. Cheers to you. Oh, this yeah. looks awesome. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, man. This is the Italian ice. Yep. Hand it to you. Thank you so much for having us out here, Fee. I appreciate it, man. The Waffle Bus here in Houston, delicious. You have all different kinds of options. Chicken, you can go to the beef. The smash burgers are over the top. Get the hottie melt. But here you go. Cheers, Cheers. to you. That's the bite. Get out of here. <laughs> Great job, man. That's really good. That's dangerous. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much for watching the Houston edition of Texas Eats. And to get more information and a map on all the restaurants that you've seen on today's show, just go to our website, clicktohouston.com slash Texas Eats. Plus, follow us on social media at Texas Eats TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to join us every Sunday at 1030 in the morning right here on KPRC2, because this is how Texas Eats.